I'm about to hire my first employee, but I'm not sure if they're going to work out. So can I just pay them as a contractor? No. What if they only work for one day? No. What if they don't work out and I don't want to keep them as an employee? Still no, sorry. Well, I heard if you pay them less than $600, you can just 1099 them instead of putting them on payroll. So employee or contractor designation really depends on what type of work the worker is doing and how much control they have and if there's a chance for them to have a loss. So for example, if your worker is being trained by you, has set hours that they're supposed to work, or if you're telling them how to do the job, then they're most likely an employee. Really? Independent contractors will usually determine how the job should be done, bring their own tools to perform the work, and then also will request payment and be paid on their terms. On the other hand, employees are usually paid on a schedule determined by you, and they may get benefits like paid time off or health and medical, and those are things that a contractor wouldn't get. So employee versus contractor has nothing to do with how long the employee works for you or how much you pay them, huh? That's right. An employee is an employee, no matter how long they work for you, if they're on a intro period, or if you only pay them a few dollars or a few hours, it doesn't matter. It really depends on the type of work they're performing and who has control. And at the end of the day, you wanna make sure you classify those folks correctly.